In this video, we're gonna be looking specifically at Grok 2.0, the new update that has been released by XAI for X. Specifically, we're gonna be focusing on its ability to generate AI images. And what I wanna do in this video is not just demonstrate what it can do, but demonstrate it across a broad range of its interpretation of a prompt, its interpretation of how it will generate the image. And what I've actually gone ahead and done is again, I've used ChatGPT using a specific a prompt structure which I'll share in a minute to go through chat GPT and generate eight different types of prompts you're going to be seeing my reactions in real time I have not pre-read any of the prompts I I'm actually even hoping as I record this right now that they're even any good the AI image generations powered by a model called flux one now you may have heard of this previously and it has been great gaining a lot of steam and attention this is the prompt that I've put in using the specific prompt structure subject, action, setting mood, shot and style. Here now are eight varied prompts that you can use to create a highly detailed AI images. And we're just gonna go through literally one by one and copy it, paste it directly into Grok and see the result that we get. And the prompt is a solitary knight in shining armor, standing on a cliff edge, overlooking a vast stormy ocean at dusk. The sky is filled with dark clouds and the wind blows fiercely through this cape. Shot from a low angle, emphasizing the grandeur of the knight against the stormy backdrop. The style is epic fantasy with deep contrast and dramatic lighting. Wow, sounds pretty cool. And you will also notice how fast this in real time generates the image is absolutely crazy again there we go wow <laughs> and you just see at the bottom here it says i generated the uh, image with this prompt so that's out of that information what it's taken i think it's absolutely dramatic and beautiful it's got it's actually done as it's asked as well you can see we've got from a low angle it shows the grandeur of the night against a stormy backdrop and maybe with like a little bit more of a contrast but that's actually really really nice yeah i'm really and look at the detail and the waves as well there the the water has been going up against the cliff, the sunset rise in the background. It's actually a really beautiful image. And if you did want to regenerate the image, then what you do is go down here and you press it. But I feel like I'd be cheating. Well, let's see what happens once. This is the only time I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it once to regenerate the image and see what we get. Again, very nice. Doesn't look as vast. I would personally say I prefer the first image, but I like the little bit of a halo effect it's got going on there. But again, this is the second one. A futuristic cityscape at night with towering skyscrapers skyscrapers, skyscrapers, flying vehicles, zooming past neon lights, illuminate the streets below, casting vibrant hues of blue, pink, and purple. The air is filled with a slight haze, giving the city a cyberpunk, a cyberpunk aesthetic. Wide angle shot, capturing the expanse of the city, style is cyberpunk with neon color grading and lens flare effects. Let's hit it in and see what it does. I'm actually pretty blown away by that. I think that's actually pretty cool. Very beautiful. It stuck to what it said with reading the prompt, as far as I can tell. I mean, let's actually look at what it did. Futuristic cityscape, that's obviously what it is at night. Towering skyscraper, let's say it has that. Flying vehicles, obviously neon lights, blue, pink, purple. Cyberpunk aesthetic, wide angle shot, neon color grading. But again, I'm actually really pretty happy with that. I think that's pretty spectacular. So a close-up of a weathered ancient tomb, its pages filled with mysterious glowing runes. The book rests on an old wooden table surrounded by candles flickering in a dimly lit room. The style is dark fantasy with a focus on intricate details and a warm, moody color palette. Sounds very interesting. Not something I'd normally create myself, but I'm up for being wowed, so let's carry on with it. It's generated the prompt close-up weathered ancient tome. Pages filled with glowing runes on an old wooden table surrounded by flickering candles. It's got that. Dark fantasy style, intricate detail. I think that is absolutely a beautiful image. I'd actually say that's the best detailed image yet. I mean, the close up, look at the light, the way it does. It even makes the pages look very individual. The way of the, the rope or whatever that's meant to be, the knot, the candles, the blurry background. I think that's a very beautiful image. A young woman in a flowing red dress, dancing gracefully in a sunlit forest clearing. The sunlight filters through the trees, creating a soft, ethereal glow around her shot from a mid distance capturing the movement and serenity of the scene the style is romantic with soft focus and warm golden color grading sounds pretty cool let's have a look at that okay that's a beautiful looking image a uh, young woman so then just reading this out the prompt that it has generated at the bottom there you can see so the young woman in a flowing red dress dancing gracefully sunlight, sunlight is hitting the forest clearing 
filtering through the trees, mid distance sharp, romantic style, soft focus, warm golden color grading. I would say it's hit that bang on. I would say the one thing that looks, is that a hand a bit crooked there? Because of the low resolution, it's got a little bit of a disfiguration on the hand there. So that's something that needs worked on. But I think, and the waist maybe a little bit, is it, is it, I can't tell if the waist there, or is that the way the dress sits on her? No, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Overall, minus the hands, let's have a look at the hand here, it's grabbing the dress, that looks a bit better, it looks a tiny bit funky with the hands there again, but taking away the hands, the actual shot, the silhouette of her, is really beautiful, the detail of the hair, the background, the flowers here in the foreground, the uh, face there as well. I think just a tiny little bit funky there, but overall, I think if it had more time to generate the images because it does it so fast, it would look better. But again, I'm overall, even the way the light filters through the dress, overall, still impressed. An abandoned spaceship drifting in deep space. Okay, I like the sounds of this already. It's exterior damaged and covered in debris. The dark void of space stretches endlessly around it with distant stars barely visible, shot from a distance, emphasizing the, the isolation of the spaceship. Style is sky fi with a cold, desaturated color palette and sharp details. Now, I really like the sounds of that. Space especially is right up my street. Ooh, okay. So that's the prompt, abandoned spaceship drifting. I'd say check. Exterior damage, check. Uh, covered in debris, dark void of space. I would say it hasn't really hit space. I would say it's more just done it next to a planet. So that bit hit or miss. I mean, it still looks beautiful though. Distant stars, a little bit in the background. Shot from a distance. Isolation, not as much because it's right next to a planet. Could be a habited planet for all I know. Cold, desaturated color palette, check. Sharp details. I think it has hit most of that pretty well. I don't that in the background there. Don't know what that weird little funky thing is there. So pretend that doesn't exist. But as a whole, detail of the spaceship looks really beautiful. Love even the color of the, I'm gonna say Earth, or the planet, whatever it's meant to be. Very, very good. A close-up of a cup of steaming coffee placed on a small table next to a rainy soaked window. The rain is gently trickling down the glass and the room is dimly lit creating a cozy, intimate atmosphere. The style is cozy with warm, muted tones and a shallow depth of field. Okay, I really like that. Close up of a cup of tea, steaming. Is it steaming? Don't really see the steaming effects. I'd say no to that personally. And I would say it's on a small table, rain soaked window, yep. Rain trickling down the glass, yes. Dimly lit room, yes. Cozy atmosphere, warm muted colors, shallow depth of field. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's actually have a look at the image. I think that is absolutely beautiful, I have to say. The only bit that's missing the steam, the smoke or whatever. But again, look at the detail on the window here, light in the background with the reflection. I really love that and just the, yeah. That, that's a striking image, that is beautiful. Even the way it is on the table here. Again, the cup, everything consistent. I think that is, yeah, beautiful image. I've got nothing bad to say about that really. I can even let go of the, the steam effect. Maybe it's, they're having a nice coffee. I don't know, <laughs> maybe it's hot on the inside. <laughs> right, number seven. A grand medieval castle perched atop a misty mountain with clouds swirling around its towers. The sun is beginning to rise, casting a soft golden light on the scene. Wide angle shot to capture the scale and majesty, the majesty of the castle and its surroundings. The style is cinematic with a focus on light and shadow play. Okay, sounds very interesting. I would say that has hit the whole prompt completely, actually. I think there's no funkiness. The castle looks beautiful, very detailed, though a little bit low res, I will admit. It's beautiful. Look at the shadows. Look at the way the, the clouds are hugging the mountain there, coming in the background, even on the, the top of the mountains there. I think it's very consistent. The image overall, very lovely, very good light is overall very consistent. Again, striking, I'm using that word a lot today, striking, but it is, it's a beautiful shot. A futuristic soldier in high-tech armor standing in the middle of a war-torn battlefield with explosions and debris all around. His helmet visor glows a menacing red and he holds a massive weapon ready for battle. Shot from a low angle, making the soldier appear imposing and dominant. Style is 80s action movie with high contrast and intense color grading. Okay, that sounds like a very interesting image. Futuristic soldier, high-tech armor on a war-torn battlefield. Check, check, and check. Explosions, debris, red glowing visor. Yes, massive weapon. Absolutely. Low angle shot. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, low to an extent, borderline 80s action movie style. I guess in your face, you're picturing like a Terminator, a Rambo, something like that. So I'd say it does that. High contrast, intense color grading. I would say it's pretty much followed all of that. The red on the helmet, on the visor is straight. I love that. Red's my favorite color. There you go again, striking, but beautiful. Love that. Very consistent, very all around, even the background. I think, yeah, I think that's very consistent. And again, I, I'm really impressed with that. If I had to go through and say my favorite images, let's start at the top. I think the first version of the night was better, but I think again, it's done it. It's just a bit dull looking in my opinion. This again, very nice. I do a lot of these personally like cyberpunk art style cityscapes like that in my own time. So again, I've seen a lot. I think it's just very good. I'm used to seeing them. So it doesn't have that wow factor, but it is good. Then this, I think for the details is one of my favorite. This here is the close-up of the weathered tomb, of the tomb, the book, effectively. Very beautiful. This with the woman, I think the hand's a little bit weird, potential, but it needs work, but nice scenery. I like the way that the light hits the dress as well. This is very good, very dim, dark, desaturated color palette. And I just think I would like to have seen the void of space more, maybe the stars hitting it and making it look more, I don't know, lit up like that but not bad. This again with the coffee, and I, I love coffee. So uh, that's another one that I love. And then this with the castle, I think is great. Really beautiful, love the way it hits it. I would like maybe even see a little bit more contrast or just saturation, but that's my opinion there. And then this one, I just think it grabs your attention, sort of Call of Duty style, modern warfare style, or futuristic warfare style, I guess, whatever it looks like. So let me know what you think of these images. If you're asking me now, what do I personally think of it? The one con that I do not like, or I would like to see made better looking at these images more, they are a lower quality. And I don't mean what it actually looks like. I'm specifically referring to the resolution. So if you're gonna compare this to Mid Journey, for example, then you could say that the image that it generates is higher quality in terms of resolution. But does that mean the amount of detail that's still in the image is bad? Absolutely not, quite the opposite. What really amazes me is how fast it generates these images based off of your prompt. And they're not, they're not, you know, undetailed prompts, like quite detailed prompts, I'd say. It's the best one that I've seen for it doing it at a very fast pace, and then also doing it with consistency. And I think it has a really big future and it's very exciting. I think the images that it's creating overall are fantastic. I love it. I am gonna start using it even more for my, for my AI image generation. At the minute, it only does 1024 by 768, specifically for its dimensions, for its aspect ratio. I would like it to be able to do more, be able to say, you know, expand it, be able to say portrait this wide, whatever, and then go in there like you can with Dali, like you can with Mid Journey, and choose specific bits of the image that you would like to change even more. Also, what you can do as well is create really edgy images. What I mean by that in a political sense, or stuff like that, that other ones, maybe like a Dali, like Mid Journey, like Leonardo, would stop you from doing because it's too edgy. It is, you know, political, let's just say stuff like that. Again, I'm not putting images on this, on this channel like this because I'm not a political channel. I have no interest in putting stuff like that. If you wanna go and do that, there's many of the videos you can watch about it or do it yourself. But as a whole, it is great. I think it's really good. And if for value for money to say it's $8 a month to be able to do this, it's a no brainer. So for me, it's one of my new favorite AI image generators. And I think it's spectacular. I don't say that easily, but I do think it's spectacular. And I think this is a very exciting update and we'll see as it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And what do you think of it? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.